Hey there, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. I'm gonna do a uh, overview on our star ceiling kit for our demo room. Um, basically be little, three little sections on this video. One I'm gonna do uh, right now, I'm just gonna go over the PDFs of the four components that it takes to do the star ceiling um, and shooting star in our case. And then I will do a quick video of us uh, kind of building it with a time lapse and then I'll do a video of us uh, walking through and uh, I'm gonna do my best to try to show what we have in there with the lighting and uh, the camera we have it's extremely hard to get a good uh, indicator of how the star ceiling actually looks um, but I think I've got a pretty good job of doing it uh, so first we're using the uh, epic sky um, and we use epic sky exclusively for our star kits and most of our RGB lighting um, to highlight on this, we're using two of their star modules, each with 256 fibers. Um, the nice thing about it, it's, it's serial controllable, and it actually wires up using Cat5 wire, Cat6 wire. Uh, so we've got uh, Cat6 wire going up to the ceiling to run these. And uh, I'm going to scroll down here. We're basically using the third-party control system um, solution minus the Wi-Fi interface. Um, and again, we have two of these, so we're running the Epic Link out to the star module. And then the second thing we have in here is a shooting star, which just clips over with a, uh, again, another Cat5 wire and third party control. So you can see that's done. And if anybody's interested, I could give you a full diagram of how we have this wired up. Uh, the second part of the uh, system is we uh, use the insulation board from Knopf. We're using their six pound, which is their more dense stuff, pretty much this one here in the image. Um, and we've cut those to size and then we build a wood frame around these so we can have a nice crisp edge. I know a lot of guys and gals just build this without using it and it just, if you drop it, you hit the panel too hard, it puts a dent in it and you can see it in the final product. And then last, we're using uh, our typical Anchorage Guilford Domain fabric in onyx color. And so those are basically the, the three or slash four elements to this bu building the star ceiling kit. And so what I'll do is I'm going to uh, do a quick time lapse on this. Um, and then you can skip forward to the time lapse. I'll put a video indicator on there when I'm going to actually show the star ceiling kit with a video. And I think that'll do it. Thank you.
Hey there, this is Tyler with Eater Design Company. Um, you've probably watched the time lapse and a little overview of what equipment was used to build the star ceiling. So I'm going to try to do a video on it. It's extremely difficult with the black onyx fabric and being the ceiling is darker, but I think I'll try to do a decent job here. So this opening is 60 inches by 150 inches. So roughly 5 foot by 12 foot. And then we have an inch and a quarter gap to let the RGBW lighting glow up on the star ceiling. You can see the camera's having a hard time even picking up the black. And so what I'll do is I'm going to turn the star ceiling on and then I'll turn the RGBW lighting on to give you the full effect of this feature. Thank you. Okay, so here's the star ceiling on. We've got it set for every 10 seconds for there to be a shooting star. So we should see that any second. There it goes. Try to get down here and see what we can do for this. There's a shooting star again. I'll try to do it with the lights dimmed down. I don't think it's going to be possible. Not too bad. You can see the shooting star again. So this ceiling here has... 256 LED or excuse me fiber optic points uh, times two so there's literally two exact panels I think that's what 512 fiber optic stars and then the shooting star if I recall is somewhere between a hundred or 150 individual fiber optic points Let me see if I can get up on this st shooting star for a close-up Okay, so a little bit different view. So this is with our RGB lighting set to blue. So you can see the shooting star. And then what we try to do, and it's extremely difficult, but we were going for super crisp, sharp lines with our RGBW lighting. So that lighting is actually in a Cluse aluminum channel with a frosted... Um, basically no LED spot, like a spotless diffuser. And then we've added that trim detail to let the RGBW lighting shine on it. And what it's given us is a super crisp, basically LED line. It's, it's color changing, I'll do it. I'll put it in color changing mode so you can see some other stuff happen. But uh, overall, we're extremely pleased with how it looks.